hello and good morning guys and welcome back to my channel so today it's a bit of a weird one obviously you guys know what's going on at the moment and i've addressed it on my instagram um i've not really addressed it on here mainly because i feel like everyone's like addressing it at the moment um and talking about how they'll be going forward and everything like that um but just kind of to sum up my instagram post i want to create more content for you guys i want to almost like give you guys a bit of an escape and like a bit of sanctuary in the world of uncertainty at the moment so i'm still creating content i'm going to be doing lots of videos for you guys there's loads of stuff going out on my instagram at the minute um and i'm still doing tiktok and everything like that so i'm basically trying to create as much content for you guys as possible at the minute just to kind of give you like a bit of entertainment something to escape from um and yeah it's that's kind of what i'm here for i'm not a doctor i'm not here to carry on talking about it because i'm fed up of seeing it on my social media and on my newsfeed and I'm sure you guys are too. So moving on from that. So we're going to be a little bit of a, I don't know if it's like a weekly vlog, but I'm just going to vlog over the next few days um, because I'm basically wanting to do a lot of organisation at the minute. I'm wanting to declutter my kitchen cupboards. I'm wanting to redo my shelving unit in this room. I'm wanting to have a massive cull of my um, wardrobe and basically just have a bit of TLC in the flat um, because it needs it quite frankly it really really needs it so that's basically what today's video is going to be um, we're going to be going over like the course of a few days um, and just having like a bit of a cozy at home chatty vlog because I feel like that's kind of what we need right now we just need a bit of like coziness a lot of us are at home a lot of us are either social distancing or isolating ourselves and isolation doesn't mean loneliness so we're here we'll be chatting away we'll be talking so we've still got that first things first is i need to give my office a bit of a tidy because one of the main things is that these shelving units i have kind of been using them as a bit of a dumping ground and i feel like i've not been using them to the best of their ability um and there are just some things in this room these i was filming a video earlier so i've got my um light up this is a bag of stuff that's on my depop at the minute so if you guys want to shop anything there please do <laughs> so that i can not have a massive bag of clothes in my room but yeah i'm just not very good at keeping these shelves organized at the minute and i think i can do a lot a much better job at it so i think that's what we're going to start with today so you can probably tell by these shelves that they are already really messy and just not looking how they should be and as much as I want these to be like really stylish cool shelves I also want them to be practical um, and being able to use them for a couple of weeks is really showing you what's practical and what just isn't on these shelves so I'm gonna like give them a bit of a clear out I'll give them a bit of a dust and a clean as well whilst we're here and just kind of go through and like rearrange things that I think need to be rearranged also went into Morrison's today and there was literally no cleaning supplies so I'm glad that I always have enough cleaning supplies in my cupboard but I don't know what I'm gonna do when this kitchen roll runs out so I'm gonna have to use it very very sparingly that's all I'm saying <laughs> First things I've done is just take off everything that was on the shelf that shouldn't be. Things like camera batteries, chargers, glasses, things that like I've just been dumping on there instead of actually putting them where they should be. So I've got my wardrobes just over here and then one of them's like just a shelving unit inside the wardrobe and that is where I house all of like my camera equipment, um, spare shoes, um, makeup, skincare, things like that. That's where I house a lot of that stuff um, and then I just want these to be much more display so what i've done is i've just taken everything off that shouldn't be on there and then i can just kind of like reassess what's on there reassess how i want this to look and then go from there now i'm not really sure whether to keep these on my shelf or not because this is a bag that i've actually put up to sell on my depop i absolutely love it it's stunning the mint green color is gorgeous but i just find that i don't reach for it enough 
um, and especially the fact that it sold out so quickly I'm always really conscious of only kind of showing you things on my feed that you can shop um, or at least you can shop similar or you know like this season's version but this sold out so so quickly and there's not been any kind of like alternative or like a new stock version and I'm just very aware how frustrating it is and get so many messages from you guys so that's why I put this up to sell so it's on my depop at the moment um so i don't know whether to keep it on the shelves or not i think i'm going to take it off for now just because if someone buys it i don't want to have like an empty cubby um so i think i'm just gonna have to remove that completely now i do really like having my louis vuitton having its own little cubby but i think this is just too big and like it's too spacious so i might move this down either one or two spaces so that it doesn't look so open um and then i could probably use this to like better use um, with that cubby. Cubs, I'm just gonna order, take out and chill on my couch, yeah. I've ended up taking it down three of these little holes and that's one thing as I love about the IKEA bookshelves is they're so easy to like move around and switch if something's not working for you it's like all these little holes are like a shelf space so I've just moved it down three of those and I think it looks a lot better now that it's not so open um, and then I also quite like the fact that like the rest of the shelves line up space wise lies up line up shelf wise except that one I think that looks kind of cool I don't know. You might completely disagree, but I like it. I don't feel like talking, I just wanna hang with me. Dance around the kitchen, then we'll binge on some TV. Yeah. I'm so over faking my life on the internet. We're no makeup, oh high heels, the night I can forget. Okay, so those are the shelves now rearranged. You guys are probably looking at this like, Ellie, they look exactly the same. But to me, they look very, very different and I'm really happy with how they look. Um, so basically what I've done is just kind of tried to colour coordinate a bit. So I've taken off a few things. I've just shoved them here for now. Um, like these two pairs of shoes, as much as I love them, especially the orange just does not work on these shelves and just it makes it look a little bit too like... It's just a bit out there so I've left a gap here because I want to get another storage box to put there or if this sage green bag doesn't sell I'm gonna put that one back there and just keep it for now because um, I do love the bag it's just one of those where I'm not getting the wear out of so I kind of want to um, give it to a nicer home someone that's gonna love it and use it a lot more than I am so yeah I've just there's a few things I've kept the same like the Jo Malone perfumes my jewelry box those worked really well there this shelf hasn't changed at all but the top shelf has changed quite a bit I've ended up putting my Vuitton um, travel bag up there just because I don't reach for it very often like I only really use it when I'm 
traveling, hence why it's called the travel bag. Um, and I want to get something there. I'm thinking maybe like flowers or a box. I'm not really sure. This is just a she box that I'm using for storage at the moment. And then I've given my River Island, um, the Lady Dior dupe. That's just what I call that bag. Um, I've given it its own cubby. I think it deserves its own cubby. And I've moved the um, jumpers up to this shelf. And the reason for that is because... I sit here to do my makeup and this shelf is very useful to have things to grab um, and I find that because I didn't have anything for like just to chuck things I kept just shoving things on top of that Muji box and it just got really really messy so I've moved them up a couple of shelves and I think that's going to work a lot better now um, and yeah that's basically how they're looking now. So I just wanted to show you a little home update um, that I am really, really happy with how it's turned out. So I've wanted to do something in the hallway for absolute ages. I really hated our hallway. It was like quite difficult to navigate because it was, it's like quite a narrow hallway, but it just looks so empty with nothing in it. So I was saying to Alex for ages that I just like wanted to get like a console table or just something for in there so that it didn't look so bare and sparse. But the difficulty we had was that because obviously it's a narrow hallway, the, the, all the console tables that are kind of like standard size console tables were just too wide um, and they just took up the whole space and you couldn't like walk past. So I finally managed to find a console table that was narrow enough for us. I'll link it down below. It's fine, it's all right. Um, probably out of choice, I wouldn't have gone for it in the sense of there were other styles I liked more but they just didn't fit the space. So I'm gonna show you because I'm really, really happy with how it looks. Okay, this is gonna be really tricky to show you guys, but I am so, so happy with how it looks. Now it's really dark in this hallway because the only light that comes through is from like the bedrooms. So as soon as you close a door, it does get quite dark. Um, but, okay, if I go the other side, it might be easier. But I'm so, so happy with how it looks now. So this is the console table I went for. It's actually from Amazon. I'll link it down below. Um, and as I said, it is fine, it works, and it's narrow enough for us. That was the main thing that we needed, something narrow enough. But building this wasn't straightforward in the sense that some of the screws <laughs> that they had, um, if I show you, where is it? So a couple of the screws were too long, and we triple checked and we used the right ones, but they were just too long and they came through and we didn't realize in time. So that gets covered up. <laughs> by the magazines um, I'll show you so we've just got so I've just put a few things up to decorate the space this is this really really cool stag head from Matalan Home um, I'll try and link it down below I got it before Christmas so I don't know if it was like supposed to be a Christmas decoration but I think it looks really cool all year round I really like how it looks um, and then we've just got some magazines there and then this is a really cool little tea light that my sister got me um, for Christmas. And I call it my either my orb or my comet because it looks like a little comet, especially when you light a tea light in there and the light just pours out and it looks really like golden. It's gorgeous. So I love how that looks. And then of course we have to have a little reed diffuser. This is a white company one. I absolutely love it. Um, this is peony. It's one of my favorite scents from the white company. It's just so fresh and it's really spring-like. Um, so I did have a different one in here. I think, which one did I have in here before? Oh, I can't remember which one I had in here before. But um, I once it ran out, because it was more of like a wintry scent, once it ran out, I was like, I need to put peony up because we need this to smell like spring. So I have that there. And then an Olivia Blake candle. I love the Olivia Blake candles. You can get them from Home Sense. Um, and they're quite inexpensive. I think this one costs like 18 pounds for a candle that big and it smells so good. So it's a three wick, so I have been burning it and it smells absolutely insane. It's a really, really good quality candle and an affordable price for it. And then you guys would have seen this vase with these eucalyptus leaves. Um, these were featured in a collab that I did recently with Dunelm. Um, so I originally got them for the bedroom, but actually I really wanted to have like a vase with some floral arrangements out here. So I am gonna buy some more faux flowers to put in here just to kind of do it up a bit and make it a bit fancy. I feel like if it's just eucalyptus leaves, it looks a bit boring. Um, and yeah, and then I just have a little stackers box underneath here. We can keep like keys or anything you need in there. Um, at the moment it's empty, but just if like guests come around and they wanna keep their keys safe, they can put it in there and then we just put our post on this side here which is why it's kind of empty because if ever we get letters um like if i'm home and there's a letter for alex i'll just put it there for him to um pick up and then this mirror <laughs> 
Hello. So this mirror is basically the epitome of what it's like to be in a relationship with a height difference. Anyone will understand if you guys have height differences with your partners, but some of the mirrors in the house are perfect for me, and some of them I can literally only see. I mean, if you come to my eye level, that's what I can see in this mirror. So that's fun. <laughs> but I don't really mind because there's also another mirror in this hallway over there, which is actually my height. Um, so I can still see myself, it's fine. Um, but I told Alex when I got this mirror, this was also a part of the collab with Janelle. Um, and I did say to Alex, I was like, when we get this mirror, I promise you that we can put it to your height so that we have a mirror in the house that is literally just dedicated to you. So that's Alex's mirror there. But I really like how this space looks. I think it just makes the hallway look so much nicer and it really adds something to the flat. You can probably see from that clip that um, I've put a load of washing up. I've just been washing our bed sheets. I also apologize if you could hear the washing machine that entire time. I um, have our bed sheets on at the moment, so. That's the thing when you work from home and you film from home and you're trying to do everything at home is that you just can't like escape the chores and the noise. So I wanted to show you guys this new reed diffuser that I was gifted from Cork Cycle. Um, they've done a collab actually with, I believe they're called Clean Space. Um, but they've created these gorgeous like candles and room sprays and reed diffusers and they're all gluten free, parasite free, like there's a massive list um, of what they are but they're basically really clean hence the name really clean products so I've been wanting to have something in this little corner over by the mirror for a while so I thought we could set it up and put it up here Not staying up till morning. sleep then I watch a movie I'm absolutely obsessed with how this looks so it's just this like really gorgeous white bit on the outside and then the top is like marble so I think it looks really cute here next to the mirror um, and I've obviously got my candle there and then I just need to find something to put over here at the moment we just keep a coaster there so that whoever sits on this part of the sofa can put their drinks down um, but it upsets me that it's not symmetrical so I'm gonna have to find something to put over there but I really like how this looks I think it's gorgeous why is it that when you choose to do something, you're like, this is great, I love it, fab. When someone tells you you have to, you're like, mm. <laughs> I normally love working from home and I love having days where I can clear a whole day out of my schedule just to be at home, film videos, do admin work, you know, answer calls, everything like that. Now that I have to work from home, I'm just really finding it difficult. I think it's mainly, having to share my space because I'm so used to working from home by myself, it's just me. Um, and now as much as I love him, having Alex there, because it just means we have to like schedule when I can film my videos and when he can take his conference calls and I have to tell him to be quiet and then I have to close the door and it just gets a little bit more complicated. Um, and yeah, it's a bit difficult. I, I'd love to know how you guys are coping with this. Um, I think as someone who is a seasoned working from home, -er, I should be very much used to this and not find it as difficult as I am. But I am still struggling. I think it's important to kind of be open about that. Um, I have actually written a blog post which is about my top tips for working from home. So if you guys do wanna check that out, they are just like the kind of practices that I've learned the hard way um, for how to be successful when you work from home and not just waste your day. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video, but I am now going to go and have a shower and clock off um, and just enjoy the rest of the evening. So I will pick up with you guys tomorrow. So today we're not looking our cutest. Um, I literally have not made any effort with hair or makeup or anything. Um, that's because it's just a lazy Saturday. Um, we're kind of just spending it in the house and I thought today would be the perfect opportunity to finally, 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 finally go through my wardrobe. Now, once every like few months or so, usually kind of seasonally, I like to have a massive cull of my wardrobe and just go through everything that's in there. I donate what I can, I sell what I can, I give to friends what I can. Um, 
in my line of work i collect a lot of stuff i accumulate a lot of clothes um a lot of it is kind of like trend pieces that i'll probably only wear once or twice and then look to kind of move on from them some of them are things that like will stay in my wardrobe for years and years like this top that i'm wearing is literally a whistles top that i've had for about four years now so there are some things in my wardrobe that i'll keep forever and there's other things that like because of the nature of my job i have to kind of turn them over quite quickly so I thought today we could go through the wardrobe together, I can kind of go through the process of clearing it out, um, show you like how I go through things and basically just needs a massive organisation. So it's been a few months since I last organised it and it's just been getting really really overwhelming and I haven't been able to find anything that I want to find um, and that's just when you know it's time for a clear out. So. I thought we could go through that together and we can organise my life in today's video. Okay, it's kind of difficult to show you the wardrobe because it's like a really annoying setup in the sense that it's like sliding doors, which I personally would never, never choose. I hate sliding doors, but we are on a rented property. This is built in, so this isn't like my choice. But I have this part of the wardrobe and then this section here and then the other half is all Alex's so I'm not going to be going through that today I and mean, it's just going to be doing my stuff and then also we have a set of drawers that Alex has um, so it seems like he's got more stuff than me in this room but that's because I literally have like a whole other office slash wardrobe room all to myself so this is kind of like my everyday items my everyday pieces of clothing um, and the things that I reach for on a daily basis and this is just getting far too much like there are loads of things on this shelf. This is like my dumping shelf and just basically. Yeah, that's hiding back there. So if I just show you what we're working with, we've got a copious amount of stuff that's hanging up at the moment. I think a lot of this stuff doesn't need to be hung up as well. Um, so I'm gonna go through that. And then we have my jeans and trousers and everything. And we also have like another shelf back here that has just become an absolute dumping ground. So we're gonna go through all of that. At the top, I just keep like suitcases and like spare towels and linens. So I'm not really gonna be touching that. We're just gonna be going through like the main bulk of the wardrobe. And then this side as well is supposed to be more like dressy things, but it's just getting so, so cluttered. And down here we have some drawers again. Dance around the kitchen, then we'll binge on some TV. Okay, so this is the entire contents of my wardrobe laid out on the bed. This is like the best method. You guys will probably know the Marie Kondo method of just empty out everything so that you can see it all in one go. And actually, I don't think it's that bad. Like, I was expecting worse. The fact that it can fit on a bed. I'm not too. <laughs> I'm um, kind of impressed that I can fit it all onto a bed. But this is now empty. Obviously, only my side, like Alex's side, is still all full. Um, but I've literally emptied the entirety of this wardrobe. So this is a built-in wardrobe that we had with the flat when we moved in um, and literally all it had in it is these poles, which are great because it has so much hanging space, but obviously they're so high up and these poles here means you can't fit like a normal chest of drawers. Um, they have like a really weird width, so you can't even fit two of these boxes in. I've had to put like one box and like this in. So it's really mismatched down the bottom, um, but this is just something I picked up from Will Cook, cost me like 10 quid, and it's so perfect for trousers and jean storage. So I love it for that. And then this is just from Ikea. It's originally a like bathroom kind of storage thing, um, but I love it because it's like a corner one. So it means that it can fit here with the pole and I can put like t-shirts and small things on there. And then I just have, open it this way, a small chest of drawers. This used to be a bedside table until we got our new ones. Um, so I've just put it in here and I just use this for like underwear storage and things like that. So yeah, this is the wardrobe completely empty now. So this is usually the moment that I look at everything and go, why the hell did I start this? It's a very overwhelming process, um, but necessary. So now what I tend to do is kind of just go through everything that's on the bed and try and put it back one by one. So I think I'm gonna start with the things that are like on these shelves and stuff, because as soon as you start putting clothes on the rail, 
it kind of gets like lost in the clothes so i think i'm going to start with the bottom and then just work my way up um to the clothes that are hanging just moved you over to this side of the room because i feel like you can kind of see it better i didn't expect it to be this difficult to actually show you but i guess because it's mirrored wardrobes it's really hard to like focus on the actual thing that i'm doing um but basically this is what we have to sort now <sighs> so i'm going to go through it see what i want to keep see what's going to go to charity what i'm going to sell <sighs> this is the overwhelming part <laughs> Okay, so we've got this section kind of finished now. Um, I think I'm happy with how it is. So I like to have my blue jeans at the top here because they are the jeans that I reach for the most. You guys can see I have a lot of blue jeans. Um, they are my absolute fave. So I like to have a whole section for them. And then I used to have a section just for black jeans, but I've actually culled a few of my black jeans. I find I don't wear them as much. Um, so I've gotten rid of a few of those. They're gonna be going to charity. And what I've done is I've added, I literally have one pair of white jeans and like a pair of chinos. So I've added them to this pile. They used to be in the, a shelf of their own, um, but I've gotten rid of a few of my kind of like more neutral trousers. So they used to be in this bottom shelf here, but now what I've done in this bottom shelf is basically put all my PJ bottoms, my trackies and my comfies down here. So it just means that they're a lot easier to grab before they were kind of just like shoved randomly. So it means if they have like their own place, I can put them away properly. And then I always really struggle with this section here just because it is so awkward. Um, what I've now done is added all my gym gear to the bottom one there. I know it doesn't look that neat, um, but it works out quite well. Um, I find that with gym outfits, I kind of just shove on like a top, a sports bra and leggings. So it doesn't need to be too neat there. Um, and then I've just put all of my little basic tees in this shelf here. I might end up moving that when it becomes a lot more spring summer like because I don't know how tidy that's going to stay. It is really frustrating me that they are kind of like hanging off the edge a little bit but what can you do? You've just kind of got to work with the space that you've got. Um, and then I don't like to put anything on the top because I find when you're like reaching down for like all the hanging things and like taking them off the hangers it can often get knocked and things fall down um, and it just gets so messy so I've tried to keep that completely free and then I just have my um, yoga mat that I keep in the corner there and this is just a little doorstop which is really cute but we don't have any doors that need it at the moment um, but I don't want to get rid of it in case we move somewhere that has heavy doors that need keeping open um, so yeah I'm happy with how that's looking now I think it's looking a lot neater Okay, so this is looking so much better now. It was such a mismatch before of like um, kind of pieces. So now I've been a bit more ruthless. I have literally culled so much already. This is my to sell pile, my charity pile and my they are so dire they're going in the bin pile. Um, so I've taken a few suits out of here that I've just not worn in absolute ages um, and a few pieces that were looking a little bit tired. So I basically have everything in here 
we've got like dresses, everyday dresses, dressy dresses, suits, and then my dressing gown just sits in there as well because I don't have any other place to put it. Um, but it looks so much better. It's a lot less squished and like you have room at the bottom so it doesn't feel too overwhelming um, with regards to like this space down here. So I'm so happy with how that's looking now. actually so impressed with myself with how ruthless I have been so before you could barely move a top for space and now if I do that and squish them all together I'm very very proud of myself so I like to have my tops kind of spread out as much as they can I really hate it when they're all clumped together and it's like gets to the point where you have to like squeeze it in um, so I've spread them out as much as I can I now a lot of you may notice I do not have matching hangers. It's not something that really bothers me that much. I kind of prefer to have different hangers because I feel like different tops do different well with different hangers. So like these velvet ones do great from like more kind of open tops, whereas like these t-shirts, I feel like they get a bit too um, squished up with the velvet hangers, if that makes sense. And I really hate it. Like say you've got a roll neck like this and you have to fight the hanger to get it off. There is nothing worse than that. So. I don't actually have matching hangers and I'm very sorry if that upsets you, um, but <laughs> that's just not really a priority for me. But if I show you the piles, this is what's going. So we've got, this is like selling pile to go on my Depop. As I said, that's the stuff that's like, it's just gonna go into a fabric bin and then a charity shop pile. Oh, and then this actually is just a little part for my sister. <laughs> I am actually really impressed with myself at how I've done that. Um, there's just one thing that I'm struggling with at the moment, and that is my Christmas jumper. Now, I don't really know where to put my Christmas jumper. I might do like a box of, because I do kind of do like seasonal wear. So like I usually have a summer box, which I'm not gonna get out just yet. I feel like it's not quite ready yet, but I think when I do get out that box, I might replace it with some of the like thicker wing winter jumpers that I'm not really, gonna get my wear out of anymore um but yeah I think that's looking so much better you can tell my color palette um other than these two kind of rogue items in the middle the red and the blue everything else is very black very neutral um and I think that's the kind of color palette I'm going to be sticking to from here on out because those are the things that get the wear they're the things that I want to keep in my wardrobe for years and years and they're the ones that I like come back to time and time again. Now another thing that I want to sort out is this shelving unit over here. Now you'll probably see that I got a new shelving unit which is in my office next door. Um, so loads of stuff that was on this shelving unit has been relegated to the other one. Well not relegated, upgraded to the other one um, because it's much more on display. So like when you open the door this is kind of hidden. Um, but I do want to do something with these shelves. I want them to be as practical as they are aesthetic. So I think I need to pick up some like storage boxes um, so that I can put things in it. Like I don't think it's very practical having a line of glasses out like that. They're probably going to get quite dusty. And then I've got like belts and stuff and books and cameras. Ooh. And it's just all a bit, a bit of a state at the moment. So I do want to try and sort that at some point too. So I wanted to show you this new piece of artwork that I bought um, for our bedroom. It's really difficult to show you. I think it's probably best if I just lie it down like this. This is the most stunning print I've ever seen. So it is by an artist who I think has made like a certain number of them into prints. Um, so it does look like, if you look closely, you can see the brush strokes and it looks so much more expensive than what it was so I'm going to link it down below if you do want to shop it um, and yeah any Disney fans will I'm sure be screaming what this is um, but it's clearly very inspired by Tangled and I absolutely love it that you've got the two little people in the boat and I just think it's so gorgeous. I sent this to Alex, kind of half expecting him to be like, mm, it's a bit girly. But he saw it and was like, oh my god, I love it. So 
we decided to buy it and I'm going to put it up in this corner here mainly because this is the first corner that you see when you walk into the room um, and I just thought that would look really nice so that you can always see it um, and also like with the bed I don't really like having artwork above a bed I used to have it in my old flat um, but I feel like in this flat I just want to keep this area like quite open and clean so yeah I'm going to put it up just in this corner here guys the print is finally up I'm so, so happy with how it looks. Hang on, I'll show you from the other side. Oh, I love it. I love it so, so much. So we've just got it. And then it means as soon as you come into this room, you can see it and it looks so good. Oh, I'm really happy with how it looks. So dead chuffed. Hello everyone, this is Future Ellie coming to sign off this vlog. I have just been editing it um, and realised kind of how short the video cuts off. Um, and that's basically because I actually had a, another day's footage from after the wardrobe organisation. But the vlog was just getting way too long, it was already over 35 minutes, so I didn't want to make it any longer. So I thought that we could cut this vlog into just this kind of organisational video and then make the next clip for the next vlog so we've got some stuff for next week um and i'm going to be carrying on vlogging as of tomorrow today is a admin editing looking like a slob day hence why i look like this but i just wanted to come on here and basically sign off the video because i think there's nothing worse than when a video just cuts short it really frustrates me so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you in my next one